Hello, Ballet Tap Level 1. Um, I hope you guys all had a really good Easter Sunday. Today, for our class, we are going to go over some definitions. We're going to do some review um, of our ballet terms that we know. Alright, so we're going to start with alignment. So that is how our body is arranged in relation to the rest of our body, right? So how everything should be. Um, in order to have good posture, in order to do a certain step. Um, okay, so that is alignment. Our next term is balance, and it kind of sounds like balance a little bit, spelled the same, um, basically. <laughs> we do this, um, we did this last week across the floor. We go down, up, down. It's the transfer of weight, right? And that's the down, up, down and it's in three counts right down up down down up down one two three one two three okay our next term is batma and that means to beat those are our kicks you can do them across the floor we've done them at the bar uh, we start in first position and our foot slides all the way out all the way out and it goes up as high as you can go right as long as our backs don't arch over yeah those are batmas our next term is chame, and that is like a chain. We do chame turns. Next is changma, yeah? So that means change, right? It kind of spelled like changement, if that was a word. Um, so that's when we, we do them, uh, we jump, right? We start in fifth position, and we jump, and our feet switch positions. And then our left foot is in front, and we land, and we jump, and we switch positions, right? So that's change. No, it means change. It's called changma. okay? Our next term is chasse, and that means to chase. And when we chasse, we want our feet pointed. Our feet are going into first position in the air, straight legs, pointy feet, before they land, right? Our back foot's chasing our front foot. Next is en croix. That is in the shape of a cross, so that is... Um, we use it when we do exercises at the bar and we go front, side, back, side, right? The next term is dégagé. That means to disengage. So we're disengaging from the floor, right? We tendu, we stretch our leg out straight, 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 as straight as it can possibly go. And then we lift it up off the ground the size of a cupcake, right? Our next term is échappé. Right, and we did these. We don't do them every week, but hopefully you sort of remember. So we, it means slipping movement. Okay, so our feet, we start in first position, and they slide out to second, and they slide back to first, and they don't leave the floor, right? It's not a jump, but we go out and back in. Okay, and that is a chape. The next term is jete. That is thrown. That means thrown. Um, those are our leaps across the floor, right? We lead, if we lead with our right foot in front, we land on our right foot, okay? The next term is plie, and we have two types of plie. We have um, demi-plie, which is a little bend, right? Plie means to bend, so our demi-plies are little. Um, our heels stay on the floor, they don't come off the floor. And our grand plies are our big plies, right? Our heels come off the floor, um, they're big. Next is pas de chat, which is step of the cat, right? Our passe, passe first, that jump. Next is passe, and that means past, okay? So we start in our position, and our leg comes up, 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 till it gets to our knee, and our leg that's in passe is making a triangle with our supporting leg, right? And our foot should be pointed at the knee. That is passe. Next is our pique, and that is to pick or prick. Okay, and again, our foot should our uh, should be in passe when we're doing pique turns. Next is our pirouette, and we've done them. I know you do them in your jazz class if you're taking jazz. Um, we've done them before in our ballet class as well. That is to spin, right? Those are our pirouettes. We're spinning. Next is pour de bras. So that is a movement of the arms. 
So if I were to go from first position arms to fifth position arms to second position arms, back to first, that is port de bras. Okay, next is relevé, and that is raised, right? To rise up, to raise. Rond de jambe means around the leg, yeah? And next we have susu, so that means over, under. That's when we're in fifth position and we spring up onto our demi, po uh, demi point, demi leve, and bounce there. So that's over, under. Our legs are kind of over, under. And then we soutenu, which means sustained. So we turn and our opposite end, our opposite foot ends up in front, right? Um, and then we have tendu, of course, which is to stretch. Okay, so those are some terms that I want you guys to remember um, to review. Don't let them leave your head. There are plenty more terms for you to learn as you continue <laughs> your dance career, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye!